Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek. Today I'm going to be asking the question, do you really need a heatsink on your NVMe drive? So let's check it out. So ever since I did my review of the Rocket 1TB NVMe drive, uh, there's a link up above if you want to have a look at that one and also the MSIB 550A Pro motherboard review again another link up above if you want to have a look at that um, I've had some uh, viewers reach out to me and say you know do I need to put a um, you know, heatsink on the NVMe drive uh, I've also had questions as to whether you should be taking the stickers off the chips that are on your NVMe drive so I'll, I'll answer these two questions even though the, the video is about heat sinks. Um, Really, in terms of the uh, stickers, you should really just leave those in place. Um, there's no need to take those off. And uh, if anything, the sticky residue that you leave behind might actually you know, be an issue uh, over time. So you want to leave those in place if you can. Um, now, with regards to the heatsink, well, you know, I bought the version without a heatsink. You can buy one with a heatsink. It is a little bit more, but because my motherboard came with a heatsink I opted to get one without so uh, the heatsink that came with the motherboard was fairly basic to be fair it is just a you know a, a piece of metal um, at the end of the day especially com compared to the heatsink that came with the rocket drive um, so I guess you know my system has been running fine since all that's been installed I've not had any kind of throttling on the system but I thought what I'd do is I'd do some tests for you guys um, just to show you what it's like, the difference you can expect should you have a heatsink in place or not. Um, really when you you kind of got your NVMe drive at full load really. Now you know I know there's there's other videos on YouTube about this and um, you know at the end of the day there's a couple of things to take into account here. Um, one is these are really you know hard stress tests that people are doing on these drives and you in the normal day-to-day -day operation you're not doing that um, you know most people who are buying NVMe drives you know they're using it for um, so certainly consumer grade NVMe drives you know they're using it for uh, gaming or video editing something like that and these are uh, small short bursts of writing data onto the drive read and writing data and um, obviously you know when people are doing uh, big uh, stress testing on the on the drive these are generally you know five ten twenty minutes or something like that um, so they're at the at the maximum load um, that you can expect on the drive so mine are probably uh, more I guess you know what you would you would expect on a day-to-day -day basis so I've done two tests one is a, a crystal disk mark 7 uh, mini uh, stress test on it I've done that three times on the drive one with the heatsink on, one without the, the heatsink, uh, so you can see the difference, the temperature increase there. And I've also done uh, multiple file copies, so started off with um, 15 gig and going all the way up to 100 gig with multiple file copies uh, taking place across uh, the two drives, writing all to the NVMe drive. So I, I think you know, for me, certainly I would say that the, the second uh, test is probably um, you know something that, you know, people would probably do you know they're loading games onto their PC uh, you know they're moving lots of files around um, you know they're, they're rendering videos to the drive you know lots of write operations so I'm just going to put the temperatures on the screen now so just bear in mind that the amb ambient temperature in the room was probably around about the 20 degree Celsius mark something like that so um, not overly warm and uh, you know it's something you need to bear in mind and we'll come to that in a in a second but as you can see on the uh, chart here the um, you know with the heat sink across both of these uh, you know the crystal disk mark and the file copy um, you know there's a there's a reasonable uh, y y y you know increase in temperature um, you know the, uh, the the kind of like the thermal throttling on these things as I say is probably around about 70 degrees something like that so we we are way off hitting thermal throttling there now when you uh, do the repeat these tests again without the heat sink well, you know, it's already starting off three degrees higher, um, you know, than, than what it was without um, with the heatsink. So, you know, the end result is, you know, you, you're looking six or seven degrees 
higher across those temperatures. So if you live in a country where maybe your ambient temperatures are you know, 28, 30 degrees Celsius, something like that, then I think absolutely you're going to have to go with a heat sink on the drive. I think everybody else, you know, if you're 20 to 25, something like that, I think you know, really you've got to ask the question, you know, why wouldn't you have the heat sink in place? It's doing no harm. If anything, it's going to uh, help increase the lifespan of the drive just by keeping those components at a, a more comfortable uh, temperature. Personally, I'm leaving mine in place. You know, it's it's been absolutely fine. I've had no uh, issues with regards to throttling by it being in place. But you know, equally with with all of this, you know, you th you're looking at heat sinks and things like that. Uh, is also look at what other kind of cooling you've got in your PC. You know, I've got on my one there. You know, it's it's kind of you know four or five fans. If you've got one fan on your PC and the airflow is really poor and the internal temperature of the PC is, is quite high. Yeah, again, you know, you you risk hitting the throttle point on uh, the NVMe drive. So again, you know, you should consider having the heat sink on it. But yeah, at the end of the day, the choice is entirely yours. I think the general consensus is is that you leave the heat sink in place. Um, you know, same kind of way as you you wouldn't run your CPU without some kind of cooling on it as well so let me know your thoughts down below in the comments guys you know what do you think are you running your nvme drive without a heatsink uh you know do you think it's just a complete waste of time um or you know could the could manufacturers do better you know with what you get with the motherboards um, let me know your thoughts down below any questions as well you know pop those down below if you've enjoyed the video hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And um, you know, as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.